Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share some recent updates on Genius Brands. It is up pre-market right now. It closed at 207 and it's up to 221. So we're going to go over those news together. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started my Patreon Discord page where I'm trying to find like-minded people like myself who is interested in making money in the stock market. I will also be sharing my trades with you guys as well, and you will be collaborating with 50 other members in the Discord, learning strategies, and find the next hottest stock together. So let's, let's take, take a look at the one month chart. So yesterday, they announced their Marvel deal, but people were not happy with it because they were expecting a little bit more with the collaboration so it sold off even when below almost touching 150 and now today they had another announcement so genius brands issued a ceo annual letter this is the full letter i'm going to try to find the most important parts of this because this is actually my first time going through this dear shareholders in 1982, with my then partner, Jean Chapelpin, Inspector Gadget was the first in a mini series I have ever created. Inspector Gadget's niece Penny, however, was a secret star whose brains and ingenuity solved every mystery. We gave her a special wristband, which was actually found in a computer in one. We also gave her a computer, which was disguised as a notepad. 30 years later, Later, Vanity Fair did a story about the 16 modern technologies predicted by Inspector Gadget. I share this because today, 5,000 plus animated half hours produced later, my colleagues and myself at Genius Brands are not one less excited creating new animated programs for children which will entertain and innovate. We seek to inspire young minds and stimulate their imaginations while showcasing not just science, technology and space but human values from teamwork to diversity and inclusivity as we look not just back at 2020 but forward to the future that we are building at genius brands we come with great eagerness and passion in my annual letter i want to provide some overview now of not only where we are but where we are going as we discuss all the pieces of our company starting with the genius brands culture and mission i want to share the many opportunities we are currently engaged with and why all of us inside genius brands are enthusiastic for the future of course there are items in the works which are sensitive and involve prominent third parties and we cannot speak of until if and when they are official and can be announced. I'm proud to share that despite the fact that the Genius Brand C-Suite, senior management, and the board organization at large are vested with significant shares, none of us have sold any of those holdings. In the meantime, let's review the Genius Brand's balance sheets, Marvel announcement, acquisitions, acquisitions going forward, 10 polls of today and tomorrow, cartoon channel, TikTok, NFT, COVID, diversity, future of genus brands. We know that animated programs, the distribution systems that deliver them, and the consumer products that come from the programs have a huge influence on the young impression bold minds that we serve. At Genius Brands, we take these responsibilities seriously. We are committed to making outstanding quality entertainment for children, children that many of us as parents ourselves can be proud of. We call this content with a purpose, and we seek to have enriched storytelling in every episode that we put our name on. High quality storytelling that is non-violent, that doesn't contain negative stereotypes or inappropriate language. That is our mission. We believe that the type of content that we produce will distinguish genius brands from our competitors in the children's entertainment world and ultimately will be reflected in the growth and the value of the company. Growth that we expect to be driven by advertising on our channel, sales of our programs to global broadcasters, royalties paid from consumer product sales based on our characters, growth through our acquisitions. We are working to not only build shareholder value through financial performance, but also to enhance shareholders' pride in our mission and products. We believe that if we remain faithful to our mission, the share price will take care of itself. 
In the meantime, I caution our investors that Genius Brands is an investing mode, building a catalog, building brands, and investing in our broadcasting infrastructure and human capital that will get us there. Revenues and earnings will not be financial metrics that we are focused on. We are instead focused on cash. If we use our cash smartly as we intend, then we believe revenue and earnings will follow. I have been in the children's entertainment business for many years, and I have been fortunate to have been a part of Cap Cities, where I met first and became friends with its largest shareholder, Warren Buffett. And then Walt Disney Company, both recognized as two of the best-run companies in America. I learned much of these companies and from Warren. Many of those lessons are in our animated series, Warren Buffett's Secret Millionaires Club, and believe they are as valuable to a corporate CEO as they are in the children watching the series. The importance of a company investing in oneself, the importance of brand building, the importance of building an organization with hardworking people of talent and integrity, the importance of cash. Cash is an is important a genius. We have over $140 million of cash in the bank today. We have zero debt. We have an additional approximate 40 million warrants outstanding that enable their shareholders to purchase our stock at $2.37. If and when those warrants are exercised, it will yield the company almost $100 million more in cash. There are a few companies of our size that have such a strong balance sheet. One of Warren's most well-known quotes is that someone is sitting in the shade today because long ago someone planted a tree. This was one of the lessons taught in our series, Secret Millionaires Club. Our cash today is being used to plant the seeds that we believe will become the trees of genius future. So what are we expecting to be using this cash for? It is for producing our upcoming 10-hole series, Stanley Superhero, Shaq's Garage, Rainbow Rangers. It is for the development and production of new animated brands. It is for marketing and growing cartoon channel. Finally, it will be used for acquisitions. We in Genius Management march to the same order. Before we send the company's money, we ask the question, would we spend this money if it was our own? And we expected a return on it to ourselves personally. As a shareholder myself, I can assure my fellow shareholders that this is the most important question we ask ourselves. Our management team is invested in the success of the company through the employee stock option plan. Its interests are interest with those of our shareholders so that when the company succeeds, we are rewarded as our shareholders are rewarded. TikTok. We are using TikTok influence to promote the channel. We have a tentpole series being produced which has been now until has been until now top secret that is a combination of tiktok meets jeopardy meets headquarters trivia if you can imagine that it is hosted by tiktok influence the show is called kc pop quiz keep your eyes open because it will be coming in quarter two with a ton of noise marketing and media supports so that is definitely a catalyst to look forward to no less than TikTok, the importance of Roblox with Tudor's kids is equally a phenomenal. This has become more pronounced since COVID and it too figures into our marketing and programming strategy. Choir, Shizcom, Beacon Media, the largest kids marketing and media buying agency in North America. With the recent excitement surrounding NFTs, many companies have come to us with proposals to enter that space. Genius would be a perfect company to flourish in NFTs because of four points. We have highly recognized characters and pre-sold intellectual property, including original arts, original audio, and original video with built-in brand equity. We have platforms that create exposure and continue awareness for our characters and properties. Several of our characters like Stan Lee have followings in the many millions. Genius Brands has a broad investor base, not only with some of the largest institutional funds, but also over 400,000 retail shareholders itself providing a basis for a genius brands exchange while one can recognize the opportunities with nfts at the same time we need to be extremely cautious and diligent if we choose to enter this space currently unregulated and with few rules the potential for money for money laundering and other wrongful activities with nft is real and the company will take appropriate steps to ensure that it doesn't happen with any NFT offering we might make, we will not be distracted by our core focus and obligations to our shareholders. <laughs> Genius shareholders can rest assured that we are looking into the very serious 
Genius Sheros can rest assured that we are looking into this very seriously as an exciting vehicle to expand our business and enrich shareholder value in the lasting manner that it creates true value and not depends on fads. If and when that time comes, we will promptly share the news. In summary, this is a very exciting time for Genius Brands. The company has come very far this year, but we all feel that we have barely scratched the surface of where we are going. I caution everyone that our business is not a light switch. It takes time for the revenues and earnings to come. And as I said at the beginning, we are investing in our business and are still early in the cycle. Nevertheless, the numbers can be large and recurring. Our programs are being delivered on time and on budgets. They are looking great. Almost every year, there is a new Power Rangers or Pow Patrol or Strawberry Shortcake. These are all multi-billion dollar businesses. Wow, I cannot believe it. It's a lot to take in. Like I said in the past videos that they are doing everything that they can to be a very successful company. When I first got into Genia, it went all the way up to $11 and I got caught on the upside. So I've been holding for a while in my other accounts. But right now, this is the true value. And I do believe we're going to see $11 again. And like Andy Haywood said, this is not a light switch. This is not a pump and dump anymore. This is, they're growing their tree so that it can keep growing. So guys, if you're not in Genius right now, this is something that you guys should keep on your watch list and maybe start a new position I do plan on adding more as time goes on. I do believe in this company. That's why I've been holding it and adding more. What do you think of Genius Brands? My price targets for this coming year is at least $10. They can do it. There's still eight months left in this year. And if they can get into the NFT space, that will definitely drive up the stock price immediately too. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and do consider joining the Patreon Discord page. We're all there sharing ideas, trying to help each other grow our portfolios.